must blink. Do it now. Pay careful attention to everything you see and hear, no matter how unusual it may seem. And please be warned, if you fidget, if you look away, forget anything, forget anything I tell you, even for an instant, then our hero will surely perish. Hanzo was a mighty samurai, but he was alone, his family taken from him his kingdom in ruins, and his, and his army destroyed by the dreaded Moon King. Hanzo was roaming the distant far lands in search of a magical suit of armor. This armor was made up of three pieces. The first, the second, and the third and final piece of armor. But before Hanzo could cl claim the armor and unite the pieces to reveal their true power, he was attacked by one of the Moon King's beasts. Gotta go, be sure to come back tomorrow. No, you can't leave. People like happy endings. Where are you going? No, you can't leave. Aw, well at least you'll come back tomorrow. Mother, what was father like? Oh, Hanzo was a mighty warrior, scaled with a sword and bow. No, what was he really like when he wasn't fighting and he was with us? He was, he was just like you, Kubo. Like, like me? Yes, um, strong, brave, and clever. Never forget how much he loved you, Kubo. He died protecting us. Did the Moon King, your grandfather, did, gra did grandfather and your sisters really kill my father? It can't be true, can it? They're family. No, they are monsters. Um, my sisters and your grandfather took your eyes, your bow. You must always stay hidden from the night sky or they will find you and take you away from me. Promise? I promise. Remember what you must do, Koopa, remember. Keep you with me at all times, Mr. Monkey. And? and never ever stay out after dark. Celebrate. You know it's a shame you never stay past sundown. There's fireworks, singing, dancing, and feasting, of course. But the best part of all, do you see those lamps and altars? We use those to speak to the loved ones who've left us behind. And guide them and guide their safe return to the blissful Pur land. Do you have someone you'd like to talk to? Very much. Well, go. There's still time before dark. Mother's sisters. And we've been looking for you 
for so long. No reason to be afraid. We just need your other eye. Grandfather admires it so. Kubo! Mother! Kubo, you must find the armor. It's your only chance. Go! Bye-bye, sister! destroyed, burned to the ground. We landed here in the Farlands. Your enemies aren't far behind. If you have questions, I can tell. You got three. I think I have more. Three. Why only three? That was one. What? I don't understand what's happening. Who are you? You don't recognize me? All these years, you have to keep me in your pack. Now you know why. But you are a wooden charm. You're this big. <sighs> Look, your mother used the last of her magic to save you and bring me to life. Here, drink. <coughs> Smells. Drink it. I don't want it. I said drink it. You're a mean monkey, aren't you? Yes, yes I am. That's three. You're out of questions now, so just listen. I'm here to protect you, Kubo. This isn't one of your stories. Those things, your ants, they never get hungry. They never sleep. If we're not prepared, they'll kill. They'll find us and kill me and take your other eye. What are we going to do? We're going to find the armor. It's the only thing that can protect you. One more question. Last one. Do you know where it is, the armor? No. No, I don't. Now go to bed. Good night, Mom. Father, Father. Kubo, you were talking in your sleep, calling out to your father, and the paper came out of your bag and folded itself into him. He's been standing there for hours, quietly judging us. I'm not even sure if this counts as origami. I could swear scissors were involved. Ow! Back in the cave, it was my mother's dream set for this. But the, and the paper always unfolded itself by morning. What are you doing? What's that about? Come on, already. Let's go. I'm tempted to say that trusting our fate upon a small paper man seems like a bad idea. But it's the best bad idea we've had. <sighs> oh well. Very carefully, Kubo. This isn't one of your stories. Any moment, something could come out of nowhere and... Ah! Enzo! Yes, I think maybe he was my master. What? What did you say? Who are you? Many years ago I was cursed, trapped in this cursed state. Cursed to wander the farlands. Cursed! Or was it cursed? No comrades or masters, not even a name, or a single memory of the noble warrior I once was. You used to be a man? Not just any man, a samurai! I mean, I'm pretty certain. Either way, inside my thorax beats the heart of a warrior! Monkey, can I tell him? I really don't think that's a good idea. Hanzo, tell me what? Hanzo is my father. Ah! This is a miracle! I have found the son of my master! Whatever brings you to these lands, whatever is your quest is now 
on my quest too. I will join you and give my life for you if necessary. This is my destiny. And I'm Shitter Shatter. Let's go. magic sword. <laughs> it's not the right sword. Look, the sword. <laughs> Thank goodness that's over. Creatures down here fight to die another day. Down here, their days worth fighting for. No, there's nothing down here worth anything. Pathetic what happened to my sister. She was so strong. I looked up. I used to look up to her, but love made her weak. No, it made me stronger. <gasps> My son, you have questions, I can tell. <sighs> oh boy. Tell us your story, please. Okay, the night I met your father, I was headed to the Temple of Bones to kill Hanzo. <gasps> My sisters and I had come down from the night nice sky and killed many noble warriors. Your grandfather told us that any man who found the magical armor would grow too powerful and be a threat to the heavens. Um, that night I arrived at the temple before my sisters and there he was, the mighty Hanzo. You have offended my father, I told him. Now you must die. We fought. Hanzo was strong, but then he stopped. He looked into my eyes and uttered four simple words. These words changed everything. You are my quest, he whispered. I had seen the wonders of the universe, but the warmth of his gaze as I looked into his eyes, that I had never known. It was his humanity I saw, and it was more powerful than anything in my cold realm. In recognizing his compassion, I recognized my own. I spared his life. He gave me mine. And then he gave me you. But your grandfather found us. His rage at my betrayal shook the heavens. Father and his army gave their lives, allowing me to escape with you in my arms. Why does grandfather hate me? Oh, Kubo, he doesn't hate you. He wants you to be just like him. Blind to humanity as I once was. Only then can you take place as part of his family. Hard, cold, and perfect. I'll never be like him, ever. I know. Monkey, why didn't you tell him sooner who you really are? The magic that keeps me here, it's fading, and soon Kubo will be alone again. No. Not alone. He is the son of Hanzo, and I will do everything I can to keep him away from harm. 
Thank you, Beetle. It's nice to know that someone will watch over Kubo while I'm gone. That would be a fine way to end my story. You look. Golden Heron. It's believed that it's believed that they hold the souls of the departed, carrying them to wherever they may need to go. What are they singing? It's beautiful. Some say they sing of what happens when we die, how we don't just disappear. We don't. Like Kubo's paper, we shift and transform, so we may continue our story on to another place. The end of one story is merely the beginning of another. She said there was a garden of eyes, eyes that stare into your soul. They show you secrets, things to keep you down there with them forever. Uh, don't worry. I don't want to look into anyone's eyes. I'm going down to get it. <clears throat> oh, no! Ah! Oh, sister. All we ever wished was to be a family in our home among the Die. Let him go! Never! Get it! Get him! Oh no. And then there's you, the thieving insect who stole my sister's soul. What? Oh, this is precious. You've been together all this time and you haven't even realized. You took her from us! How quickly your memories spilled from your head and we turned you in to the bug that you are. What? <laughs> I didn't know. I hate to break up. But it's time to end this story once and for all. why this all happens. I should have listened to my mother. Guru, we want the same things. You want to take my other eye. Do you know why I want it? Because you're old and mean and cruel. Now that's a little harsh. If you cling on to that useless little eye, you'll never come up and live with me. The heavens be immortal, be infinite. No. You're wrong. Not infinite. All stories have an end. Really? How does this one end? I destroy you. Very well. Is this your wish? To battle with the mon hideous monster who ruined your life? How oh, mortal. You want to be human. Then share it out. Suffer! Feel the pain! This is the ending of the story. 
one take one last one, with that lonely eye, one last look, at that rich place that you call home. Everything you love is gone, everything we know has been taken from you. If you must break, do it now. why you want my other eye because without it I won't be able to look into the eyes of another and see their soul, their love everything you love is gone everything you love has been taken from you no it's in my memory the most powerful kind of magic there is it makes us stronger than you will ever be these are the memories of the ones that we have loved and lost and if we hold their stories deep in our hearts, then we will, then you will never be able to take them away from us. And that will be the least of it. Where am I? Hello, grandmother. Hello, what happened to your eye? You don't remember? Sorry. Young man, I've seen have forgotten the strength. Can you tell me? I'll tell him. No, we're all telling him. You are the kindest, sweetest man who ever lived in this village. Oh, really? Yes. You uh, you walk you walk around smiling, handing out coins to children like me. You taught me kids to swim. You gave blankets to the poor. You're a good man. You feed the hungry. You always lend a hand. Really? I must have been selfless. You're a great example. That's why we love you. We have something in common. We both adore your grandson. His name is Kubo. Kubo. Sorry, young man, I don't remember. You seem like such a kind kid. Your grandson is a storyteller. He can tell you all the stories you have forgotten. Oh, really? Of course. Happy birthday to you.